when I'm a member of uh, Chula Vistans for Community Input, so, and uh, so I say we still want to make sure that the people have a voice, and that's very, very important to all of the people who are involved in the Prop E campaign. And I'm certainly very disappointed that last week's election that only 21% of the people decided to sh turn up and vote, but that's pretty typical of the county and Oceanside, only 18% showed up. And I know a lot of it was because of the confusing character association, character assassination and negative campaigning that took place. And I would say we could lay that right on the steps of Tom Shepard Associates and the Lincoln Club. And I think the only way that we can have these people know that they have no place in Chula Vista politics is by voting against anyone or any issue that they support and are working on. And of course, the Whining Church and Sharp Hospital also were involved. Sharp Hospital spent over $100,000 of their operating expenses on fighting Proposition E, which makes absolutely no fiscal sense, very fiscally irresponsible. For $34,000, they could have, I'm sure the council would have aided them, put on the ballot in November a initiative which would have exempted all hospitals, schools, and churches from Prop E and the general plan amendment because without Prop E, they would have to pay for a general plan amendment in two years when they submit their plans. And I am eager to find out how much that's going to cost them and how much time that will cost them. This is if indeed they ever have to do that. This is, and of course, that assumes that this was about schools, hospitals, and churches, which of course it wasn't. And we hope that we're not going to find out it's about some horrible project that's on the works. But we will, we will see. And I suspect that both the church and the hospital are going to end up with huge donations that they have been promised although they deny that at the moment, but we'll see. Now, we get calls about people, well, what are we gonna do now to stop these developers from taking over? Well, I don't think we, any of us want to stop developers. What we want is for them to listen to the people who live around their projects and to work out something that everybody can live with. And I think what people need to do is they need to organize. They need to organize. They are, need to organize in groups. They need to join Southwest Chula Vista Civic Association or Northwest Civic Association and or Crossroads 2 or form their own groups in their particular neighborhoods in order to protect their neighborhoods and to have a greater voice. Thank you. Parks Pemberton. 